The ongoing eruption at the summit of Kilauea volcano is once again paused after the 29th episode took place on July 20th. Lava flows began before sunrise on Sunday morning and ended abruptly around 6.35 p.m. after 13 hours of continuous activity. As measured by the USGS Hawaiian Volcano Observatory, episode 29 was certainly different. This time, lava fountains did not exceed 330 feet or 100 meters. Nowhere near the 1,000-foot displays seen in previous episodes. The usual nozzle-like shape of the vent exit broke down early, allowing lava to spray in multiple directions and preventing the fountains from growing higher. Compared to recent episodes, considerably less tephra was produced. Scientists report that eruptive material instead took the form of voluminous lava flows that covered much of the crater floor. An estimated 1.8 billion gallons of lava or 7 million cubic meters erupted during the episode. Even before the latest activity began, it seemed as if things would be different following episode 28. Mountains of tephra produced by the high lava fountains covered the surrounding area. After the episode ended, slumping of the tephra cone into the north vent created a blockage that apparently required additional pressurization to clear. Approximately 18.5 microradians of deflationary tilt were recorded during episode 29. When the event ended, inflation restarted and seismic tremor decreased. These signs suggest another episode is possible. No changes have been detected in the east or southwest rift zones, and the volcano alert level remains at watch.